So I've got a number of questions from you guys asking me to make a video about how to prepare for a competition. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep watching. Hi guys, and welcome back to Fit With Tea. I hope you guys are good. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips about how you can prepare for your competition in the area of nutrition, mindset, and your training. Nutrition, what can you do? What are some of the things that you can implement immediately, okay? So I'm gonna keep it very simple. If you're somebody who is still eating all that junk food, the chocolates, the crisps, the biscuits, the cakes, and that's part of your regular diet, then now is the time to cut it out okay so you know that those kind of foods are very high in sugar but they're very low in nutritional value right so as an athlete you want to get the most out of your nutrition you want to be eating foods that actually benefit your training so let's work off the of four f's okay so we're going to say less fat more fruit more fluid and eat from all the food groups okay so less fat and sugar <laughs> more fruit so hopefully that helps you to stop getting sugar from the unhealthy places more fluids so increasing your water intakes and eating from all the food groups that's a very basic and simple way to start and things that you can start implementing straight away and i've linked two blogs for you guys below so check those out one about your water intake and one is about how to fuel yourself pre and post training so check those links out in the description box below so next we're going to talk about mindset okay so when it comes to mindset i'm going to give you guys three tips that you can do to help you prepare mentally for your competition but the first one is going to be to set some goals right and i've got a whole video about about goal setting and how you can have the best season this year by setting goals in different areas of your life is going to help you prepare for your competition and help you to prepare for the season as a whole so if you haven't seen this video i encourage you to check it out because that's going to be really useful watch it go through it and actually write down your goals guys because that's going to really help you prepare mentally second of all i'm going to say you can actually do some mindset visualization exercises so some visualization visualizing your race or your event whatever your event is going through that in your mind replaying the movement that you want to do your technical model going through that in your mind so it's like you've been there before so it's not like a new thing that you're feeling nervous and scared about going through your, your race model prior to your competition thinking about different scenarios because sometimes you, even when you think about competition you might get really really nervous but thinking about how am I going to control my nerves on the day what are some of the tactics I'm going to use but I would say as a caveat for someone who gets very very nervous and maybe thinking about your competition that early is not going to benefit you you can just think about other things and just do other things to relax your mind as an alternative right thirdly I'm going to say get yourself a training diary and do some journaling so where we spoke about setting goals and where it's looking at visualization you can also just do some journaling writing down the things that you're thinking about with regards to your competition what you're looking for what you're worried about or even just mapping out your race day plan your training plan leading up to your competition a training diary is going to be something that's going to be very very useful if you haven't got a training diary i really encourage you to get one at any point in the season it's a great time to start using a training diary a number of my training diaries you can use them starting at any time in the year any month and any year so check those out again the link is in the description box last but not least what are some things you can do training wise that's going to help you prepare for a competition that's coming up so you've got competition in two to four weeks time what can you do in training that's going to help you to prepare for competition how should you train what should you do i'm going to talk from a sprinter's perspective and this is fit with tea so yeah if you haven't started doing blocks now is the time to do that right if you are someone who uses but if you don't use blocks then now is definitely time to start practicing your starts okay because when else are you going to get sharper when it comes to starts and starts is a skill that you definitely have to practice you don't want to wait too long prior to start doing that also you want to be gearing towards speed so more and more of your sessions should be more and more speed focused the speed should be increasing more and more okay so you want to be going more for quality over quantity okay the closer you're going to get to your competition equipment wise in training if you've got new spikes now is going to be the time to start breaking in those spikes when you get new spikes you don't want to wear them the first time in your competition so if you want to prepare for your competition and you have new spikes or you need new spikes then now's the time to get them now's the time to start breaking them in okay that two to four weeks before your competition gives you enough time to see how they feel to get used to them if it's closer then obviously you may only have one or two sessions but overall what you're looking at is you want to begin to taper your training okay so depending on what the competition is so you're going to have to sit down and decide what is this competition how important is this competition to me and where does it fit in the whole cycle of my season in the whole of my season where does it rank in terms of importance is it something that you need a longer time to taper for because at the end of the day you want to be as fresh as you can for your competition you don't want to be tired if you're doing ridiculous sessions before your competition you're not going to be at your best so okay four weeks out you can still maybe be training at, at full capacity let's say you train five days a week you may still be doing that you may be someone who only needs two weeks to taper you may only need one week to taper so in terms of the exact amount of time you need to taper and by taper i'm talking like lessening the volume of your work lessening the load of your work you want to get faster so basically imagine a triangle let's say i'm going to do a downward triangle like this right let's say the bottom is where the competition is you're funneling your training down you want to get more specific faster more explosive and at the same time you want to have longer 
longer break and be fresher as you're going down that pyramid okay as you're getting closer to competition time so the closer you're getting you want to think about how tired am i feeling am i feeling as fresh am i feeling as sharp right so you don't have to change what you're doing it doesn't have to be like some new fancy training that you're doing right but of course as you've gone through the season everything you're doing needs to become more specific more focused towards your competition so as a sprinter in your training in general you're going to have start elements acceleration elements max velocity upright elements and then obviously the speed endurance elements of your training you're going to have some strength work in the gym you're going to have plyometric work you're going to have power work right but the amount you're doing you know how heavy how many sets you're doing the volume of your work is going to start decreasing the closer you get to competition so don't start adding new things you don't want anything that is slow you're spending loads of time on the ground your lifts are very slow is going to be the opposite of what you want so everything you need to do needs to become quicker so if it means that you may need to lighten the load a little bit or let's say it's very heavy but it's very fast if you can do that and that means you're going to have less reps so you may not do as many reps as you used to do before but by two to four weeks that's definitely something that you need to be thinking about so we're lessening the load we're coming more specific faster more powerful more explosive and we're giving ourselves more time to recover so that we can be as fresh as possible so definitely by the time it's going to come to the last week of training that's really where you need to think about you as an individual of course the whole time you're thinking about you as an individual but when it comes to that last week of training when you know when your competition is and what day you want to do your pre-meet that's when you can now plan backwards i like to plan backwards i say this is my competition day this is i'm going to do my pre-meet and if you don't know what i'm talking about when it comes to pre-meet i really encourage you to check out this video where i take you through how to train before a race so specifically what to do in a pre-meet and i've also got a whole free download in that video so make sure you watch that video and download the free guide so i hope this video has been helpful guys and i'll see you guys on another friday bye guys